Hello everyone, Harry Baldock here, editor for Total Telecom. It's day two of Connected Britain, there's still a, a huge buzz around the, the hall. I'm delighted to be joined with Steve Doddington, director of Telecom at, uh, at NetSeed. Steve, last time we spoke, you guys were, uh, were still Comtech, but just about making the transition to, uh, to becoming NetSeed. Yeah. How, how's that journey been for you over the last year? Yeah, I mean, for us, it's been a, a big change. You know, we've uh, acquired more companies throughout the last year as uh, ETC Group, our parent company, and really ETC Group have actually uh, renamed as NetSeed, and they've done that to make sure all their legal entities around the world all come under one name. So for us in the UK, we've been busy explaining what the NetSeed story is uh, and trying to tell them the journey that we've been on and that we're going on. Uh, and, you know, I think the name's been well received. We, uh, you know, all the customers seem to understand where we're going, uh, which is good for us. So, yeah, it's been a, a good transition, fairly seamless up to now. I'm glad to hear it. And, and of course, a lot of tra transitions for you. There's been a lot of transition in the, uh, the UK fibre market as well. A lot of evolution over the last kind of year. What are your takes on the market in general? Yeah, the market's changing, clearly. Uh, we've seen a year that's been uh, very different to last year. Lots of investment uh, questions going around, you know, obviously that changes the dynamic of the products that we sell. Um, look, we've had a good year, you know, we, 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 we've, we've managed to maintain our business and, and gain more opportunity, but with the market as we head into next year, it just means we have to do a better job as, as NetSeed. Um, but, you know, investment means that customers connected is more of a focus. So for us, that means we have to shift our product sets, our stock holding away more from build materials into, into customer connections and you know we have to work harder with our customers to make sure we give them a quality service you know we uh, we need to make sure that you know we can demonstrate to the customers the value that we can add to make sure they recognize the, the value in us so yeah it's uh, you know interesting market dynamics but you know it's still only 50 percent built the UK there's still lots to go at um, so, you know, we think we're well set up for, uh, for the next two, three, four years, really. And of course, the, it's kind of a tough economic climate in, in general here in the, in the UK and or indeed around lots of places in the world at the moment. How does that re relate to your conversations with customers surrounding things like efficiencies and cost savings, especially with the, some of the products you have on show here today? I think it really plays into our hands, really, because we, whilst we have a very wide product portfolio, probably the widest in the market, um, we, we add value by, by offering a supply chain solution. So what we say to our customers is really at a time like this when you need to really concentrate on investment, um, customers connected, why bother investing in all your infrastructure, your logistics, your warehousing, uh, you know, really concentrate on what you're good at and talk to someone like us who's really good at what we do at. You know, we can take all that pain away uh, and allow you to really focus on um, you know, the, getting the customers connected, and then we provide savings through efficiencies uh, and through consolidating through our scale and leverage in terms of purchasing power. Um, you know, we can really add value to the customer. So, uh, you know, the message is clear for us. We can we can help in these troubled times. So, one year on from from Netseed, just about. What does the the next year hold for you guys? What's your plans for 2024? More of the same, really. I think, you know, currently we've gone through a phase where we've, uh, we've acquired two new companies recently. So BTV Group, uh, for us in the UK, that comes with a company called DKT, who offer uh, ONT solutions. So that's added to our portfolio. We have a true one-stop shop from exchange to customer portfolio. Um, so we'll be pushing that out to the customers in 2024. Uh, we've also acquired another company called Amadus, who are a very large European company. And with that in the UK, PASCOM were part of that entity. So uh, we're going to be transitioning the sales teams, uh, transitioning the proposition, uh, looking at all the product sets, leveraging the spend and the volumes, uh, and really heading into 2024, it gives us a great platform. And to add to that, we, you know, we, we're transitioning into a new facility in the UK. Uh, we, we're moving into a 130,000 square foot warehouse. Um, and that's really going to be the, the, the footprint for how we offer supply chain solutions to our customers going forward. So we get all those things out of the way at the, in Q4 of 2023, and then we go flying into 2024, you know, with all that done and, uh, and a great proposition for our customers. Yeah, it sounds like a very exciting time. Steve, as always, thanks so much for your time today. Thanks, nice to see you.